uh, measurement of uh, energy using energy meter so today we are going to connect only one energy meter single phase energy meter with the auto transformer so in previous experiments we have seen about uh, measurements of current voltage power and power factor right so this is the previous circuit so in this previous circuit what we are going to do is we are going to connect one energy meter here that's all so that is connected to the phase that is connected to load okay So, uh, the circuit will be like this, I will uh, explain here. So, this is the energy meter, okay. So, this is phase, this is from uh, auto transformer, S1 and S2, one is for phase and another one is for neutral and uh, another one phase neutral that is given to the load, okay. So, that, that is the thing we are going to connect here, okay. So, this uh, negative will be connected to the load, okay. So, this phase is connected to the auto transformer and load. So now we are going to see the hardware part of this energy meter experiment, okay. So in the energy meter we have four terminals, pace neutral from input and pace neutral to the output, that is the load, okay. Here is the static energy meter, you are having four terminals, S1, S2, L1, L2, S1 is the supply pace, okay, supply line and then L, uh, S2 is the neutral and then L1 is the neutral point and then L2 is the pace output, okay, the four terminals. In this energy meter, we are having 3000 impulse per kilowatt hour, right, one unit which having 3000 impulses, here is the calibrate, it will blink depends upon the one impulse, okay. So if we get 3200, it becomes one unit, okay, right, now I switch on the supply. I already put that nab in 230 volt supply. 230. I'm getting 230. I connect this supply from base to the S1, neutral to <coughs> S2, right? And then the L1, load terminal neutral point is connected to the neutral point of watt meter and volt meter and supply point is connected to the ammeter and volt meter, okay. So it indicates the pace, the supply is in on position. I didn't get any value because I, I didn't switch on the load, okay. It doesn't blink. If you switch on the load, then only it will measure, right. It will measure or it will record the how much energy that we are utilized. Okay, so I switch on all the lamp, now it will calibrate, so I am getting the pulses, right, if I get 3200 pulse, it becomes one unit, so I, we have to calculate this pulse for 10 input, I have to measure the time for 10 impulses, okay. Now getting the pulses depends upon the load current, okay. I have to calculate the number of pulses, 10 pulses uh, for the time, okay. So 1, 2, 3, so depending upon the time I get the 10 pulse of 19, 19 seconds, okay. So similarly you have to take more number of readings depends upon the load current. If it is 1 amps, what should be? It should be increases. Okay, the time uh, time for revolution increases with the increase in current value. That's a load current. Okay. So we can calculate the um, what uh, energy um, energy uh, stored in that, uh, sorry, energy measured, okay, by using the formulas. That is, it is measured in 3200 kilowatt per hour okay so we have to divide it by 3600 so we will get the total power 